Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show and we are going to look at uh, the 60 second match which was being played today. It was a very very important match which was played between Mumbai Indians and Sunrisers Hyderabad and what a match we had here at the uh, Vankadev Stadium in Mumbai where the crowds got their value for money in the two overs which was bowled by Tisara Pereira and Amit Mishra which went for plenty and the man who did the damage the man who actually uh, and, and let me also tell you that uh, Mumbai Indians were chasing for the first time they lost the toss Sunrisers Hyderabad were the ones who batted first making 178 for three which is a good score every batsman contributed in Sunrisers Hyderabad innings but for Mumbai Indians at a stage when things were looking a bit tough but yes Kiran Pollard was there at the crease 62 runs were required of the last four overs and the the damage not the damage the way Kiran Pollard the man of the match smashed the bowling to all parts of the ground to have an unbeaten 60 is 50 came of just 19 deliveries Kiran Pollard was not out on 66 of 27 balls with two fours only but eight sixes hit with tremendous force and uh, the, the way one was looking at that match the way Kiran Pollard was playing his body language suggested that Kiran Pollard was uh, about to make a statement to someone there well but let me tell you the crowds at the Wankade Stadium in Mumbai really really would have enjoyed that no doubt about that but I will come to that I will be recounting the tale for you in those two overs where Kiran Pollard snatched the game away from Sunrisers Hyderabad but first just talking about the match it all started with Sunrisers Hyderabad winning the toss and electing to bat now uh, they had a good start it was a blazing start by Parthil Patel in the first over of Mitchell Johnson uh, and Johnson was hit for four boundaries in that over uh, and uh, Parthil Patel had already taken 16 runs of that over uh, more than 16 runs in fact and uh, after that uh, the Sun versus Hyderabad innings well everyone contributed uh, it was a very very good innings first initially from Parthiv Patel uh, 26 of 14 balls with 5 fours uh, Shikhar Dhawan was very very impressive in his knock uh, there was a partnership once uh, the opening partnership yielded 38 runs when Parthiv Patel fell caught right to bowl Malinga for 26 of 14 balls with 5 fours it was a partnership which was there between Shikhar Dhawan and Vihari. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan was a pretty attacking self. Uh, Vihari was also playing some good stroke but it's more of uh, Shikhar Dhawan who was doing all the striking there. Uh, Vihari was just giving him company and uh, this partnership was also a very good partnership which yielded 73 valuable runs and took the score on to the Nelson mark that is 111 and uh, Shikhar Dhawan after playing a very good hand of 59 he uh, hit some uh, neatly timed uh, boundaries, uh, some very very good sixes that he hit and Shikhar Dhawan departed, caught, caught Karthik Bowl Johnson for 59 of 41 deliveries, 6 fours and 2 sixes and Vihari uh, contributed 41 of 37 balls with 4 fours being a victim of Malinga uh, out to the deep and then after that Cameron White ca came in and clattered the ballers to all parts of the field by baking an unbeaten 43 of just 23 deliveries in which three fours and three sixes were hit uh, he went after Mitchell Johnson he hit him for a six over mid wicket uh, and Cameron White uh, well uh, he, he had the company of Pereira Pereira was just there not out on two or five balls but I thought the Mumbai Indians what they did best is in the uh, last two overs probably one was looking at uh, 180 or 190 from the Sunrise was Hyderabad but I thought the last two overs were pretty good because Lasith Malinga bowled the 19th over giving away only 5 runs and the 20th over uh, Dawal Kulkarni was absolutely on the money in fact in five, the, first, the last 5 balls of the 20th over Dawal Kulkarni had given away only 2 runs but the last ball uh, in fact Cameron White sent it soaring into the sky and uh, into the crowd and he was not out on 43 of 23 balls with 3 fours and 3 sixes and Sunrise Hyderabad uh, put up a very very good score on the board to really challenge the Mumbai Indians 
uh, because this was the first time that the Mumbai Indians were chasing in the IPL 2013. Till now, whatever victories they had, they have actually uh, uh, set the totals. Uh, and they, they have actually not chased the total, they have always set the totals. But here it was Mumbai Indians for the first time facing a daunting target of 178 for 3 of their 20 overs. And let's look at the bowling figures here. Uh, Johnson's 4 overs cost him 43 runs on 1 wicket. Every bowler came in for some tap there. Uh, Barring Harbhajan Singh, a bowl 3 overs for 19. Uh, Dawal Kulkarni, 3 overs 34, but his last over was very, uh, was very good. 4 overs, no made none for 42. Barring that 6. Uh, Malinga bowled 4 overs, 2 for 26, was the best bowler today. Oja, 4 overs, none for 37. And Kiran Pollard, 1 over, who cost him 10 runs. Now, Mumbai Indians started off their reply uh, not in a very good manner because uh, Dwayne Smith, uh, after making a very uh, well made uh, 21, departed. When Ishan Sharma got a ball onto the middle stump, it pitched and he went on, it went on just uh, mood off the seam and uh, Dwayne Smith was gone. It was a pretty sight, I would say, for the bowler and also for the crowd as his middle stump was plucked out of the ground. So Dwayne Smith was gone, bowled by Ishan Sharma for 21 of 17 balls with 4 fours, which made the score uh, in the fourth over, there were 26. Uh, Tendulkar played some pleasing strokes. Uh, one of the strokes that he played was a lofted shot uh, of the balling of Ishan Sh uh, of uh, Tisra Pereira. Uh, was a real treat to watch. It was lofted very sweetly over his head for a boundary. Uh, Dinesh Karthik came in and both of them uh, started uh, building a partnership. And uh, it was uh, doing well. I mean, bo both of them, as you know, uh, they were playing some good strokes and uh, keeping the uh, scoreboard at, uh, moving at a very, very good rate. And they had taken the score on to 94 when that was the time uh, Tendulkar, unfortunately, had to retire hurt at 38. And that was a big blow for Mumbai Indians because Tendulkar was looking uh, pretty set in that particular knock of 38 of 31 balls with 3 fours and 1 6. And the partnership between Karthik and Tendulkar uh, was really, really, uh, you know, setting up something uh, whereby they already added 72 runs. And um, I mean, I, I think it was 68 runs. Um, uh, and uh, it was going on very well and you know I am sure everybody would have felt at the ground that well uh, Tendulkar such a well set batsman is uh, just going off the field retired hurt for 38 of 31 balls with 3 fours and 1 6 and uh, pr probably you know Mumbai Indians are going to find it tough because it's a big total of 178 uh, to face uh, and uh, in came Ra uh, Rohit Sharma the captain uh, to join uh, Dinesh Karthik uh, and then at that time as soon as Tendulkar departed uh, Dinesh Karthik also fell a victim as Karan Sharma took his ca Karan Sharma was the leggy who actually uh, had his wicket as um, uh, Dinesh Karthik was gone uh, flashing at the ball from uh, uh, Karan Sharma and he was caught wide ball Sharma for 30 of 23 balls with 4 fours. So it left uh, Raidu Ambati Raidu coming in and joining uh, Rohit Sharma at that time in the 12th over and still a long way to go for the Mumbai Indians at that particular time. But um, Ambati Raidu, well, um, uh, what he did is he tried the one stroke too many. Uh, Karan Sharma was flighting the ball to him and Ambati Raidu was uh, trying to take on the uh, Karan Sharma's balling, uh, tried to slap him through the onside uh, and he missed it. Uh, Patel, Parthi Patel behind the stumps did the rest. He in fact stumped him of the balling of Karan Sharma for two and that was the time the score uh, for them, for the Mumbai Indians were 99 for three and they were in the 14th over. So essentially it meant that another 79 runs uh, were required to actually win the match and the balls that they had in hand uh, would be, that was in the 14th over, so it was 13.2 overs when Raidu departed, so in the 14th over, so essentially it meant that they had only 40 balls uh, in which to make those, uh, uh, those 78 runs. But the good thing for Mumbai Indians at that point of time was Two, two good hitters of the ball and clean hitters of the ball were available. One was Rohit Sharma, as you know, he has been in some pink form in the IPL 2013. Uh, captaincy has been superb. Uh, as the captaincy has not affected his batting at all. He has been playing uh, in a very, very freewheeling fashion. And Kiran Pollard, uh, I mean, if you see Kiran Pollard, Kiran Pollard has not done much in the IPL 2013, but his uh, entry uh, heralded something. In fact, the first over Kiran Pollard the face. Now we are getting on to that uh, particular time where I'm going to take you down to the match and show you what exactly happened. Uh, it was the end 15th over when Kiran Pollard entered. It was Dale Steen who bowled to him. Uh, that particular over was very, very good. Pollard was beaten a couple of times. It was a beautiful over from Dale Steen, uh, considering only four runs in the end of over 16. 
So that essentially meant in four overs, uh, the the uh, Mumbai Indians uh, required 62 runs. So the equation was 24 balls and 62 runs to get, and and that was the time it all started with this over, which was bowled by Tisra Pereira. So just recounting the tale here, this was the 17th over. Tisra Pereira was given the ball to bowl. And I'm sure Sunrise was Hyderabad, even though Kiran Pollard was there, they probably would have said that, well, uh, there is something there in the, I mean, there, there is still something in there in this game for them. And they probably could put it across the Mumbai Indians. But let me tell you, there was, there, there was absolutely uh, no chance given by Kiran Pollard and, and uh, Rohit Sharma, who started it off all in that particular over of uh, uh, Tisra Pereira. Uh, to the first delivery that he bowled was a slower one and uh, Rohit Sharma actually pulled it over mid-wicket uh, for a six. So that was the uh, beginning of uh, things to come for Mumbai Indians. The second ball, so the tempo had been set. The second ball, it was Pereira bowled to Sharma. Sharma took a single. Now started all the big hitting. Pollard was at the crease. Pereira was bowling the third delivery. And what a shot from Pollard. Pollard had actually pulled that ball over mid-wicket. Uh, and it went in for a boundary. So that was the third ball was pulled for a four by Pollard. The fourth delivery uh, was a shot which was played uh, in a, I mean, if you one would have seen it, it was done with absolute, um, I would say, absolute ease, I would say, because the way he played it, uh, the ball was hit uh, just, you know, uh, I would say it was just a punch on the offside uh, and the ball had gone onto the side screen for a six. What a shot it was from Pollard. And the fifth delivery that Pereira, that uh, Pollard bowled to Pereira, it was gone. It was a short delivery. It was out of here, and it was gone. It was gone. It has, it had gone uh, into the uh, territory of the crowd. So that was the fifth delivery. And the, the the final delivery that Pereira bowled, it was another six. And this one was pretty pretty hit in a very powerful manner by Pollard. And this also went for six. And this went over wide long on for a six. And look at what he had done. He had taken 29 runs of the Tishara Pereira over. And that was the score stood for Mumbai Indians at the time of 146 for 3. And 33 runs were required from the 18 balls. And once again, uh, the thing started. The pyrotechnics once again started. It was the 18th over. Amit Mishra was the bowler. The first ball, Rohit Sharma took a single. Gave the strike to Pollard. And Pollard, after looking at what he was doing... He probably was in the real mood at that time and he had decided that he is not going to block any more deliveries. It's only going to be um, uh, reigning sixes and that's what he precisely did. In fact, um, Pollard in the 18th over, that was bowled by Mishra. Uh, it was not a good ball from Mishra. It was uh, basically, it was uh, tossed up and uh, Pollard actually hit it over long on for a six. And uh, in four overs, the 50 had come up on the board between, uh, between Rohit Sharma and Pollard. And in the 18th over, Pollard, what a shot it was. In fact, uh, Amit Mishra, seeing that Pollard was in a punitive mode, he tried to actually bowl it wide outside the off stump. But even then, Kiran Pollard managed to latch on to it and send it over extra cover for another six. And this was landing on the roof. And after that, um, in fact, Pollard, the fifth delivery that Mishra bowled, that was again sent for a six. And this time, it was pulled over deep square leg for a six. And finally, that particular over yielded 18 runs. So 29 of the 17th over and 21 runs of the 18th over virtually sealed the match because if you look at it, it's 50 runs in two overs taken by Kiron Pollard along with Rohit Sharma, obviously. And so, so that made the match pretty, I mean, as you know, it's almost over because uh, they required only another 12 runs required from 12 balls. But look at what uh, happened. Dale Steen was the bowler. And what an over Dale Steen bowled. Even under pressure, uh, he kept both Pollard uh, and Rohit Sharma quiet. And he bowled some very good deliveries. And Dale, and Dale Steen uh, completed his quota uh, in a very nice manner, giving away... Uh, he, he just brought a, a real uh, calm to the proceedings there by bowling the 19th over uh, in a pretty good manner, as he usually does, and just gave away five runs in that over. So 19 overs, and Mumbai Indians were 172 for three. And then the 20th over, surprise of surprises, but one does not know whether Cameron White had a choice there. Uh, he actually gave the ball back to, uh, back to Tishra Pereira, and it was a pretty surprising 
But as I said, unless and until there was someone who could have uh, done it, one does not know whether that was the right choice. Uh, looking at the bowling that they had, uh, whether, I mean, uh, other than Dale Steen, well, probably, you know, Darren Sammy, I think, could have been the perfect choice. Probably you could have handed over, Cameron White could have handed over the ball to uh, Darren Sammy, uh, because Darren Sammy is a pretty intelligent bowler. But once again, even after Tisra Pereira leaked 29 runs, the 20th over, with seven runs required for Mumbai to win the match of the final over, it was given to Pereira. And Pollard once again started. The first ball that Pereira bowled, it was gone. It was gone over the over deep mid wicket and into the crowd for a six. That was the first ball. The second ball, um, Pollard tried to pull the ball and he missed. And then it was a mere formality. Uh, they had already, I mean, uh, with six runs, they had already equaled the score. And finally, Pollard finished it off with a bang as one more six followed. And that was sent over deep square leg. It was all over. Look at what Pollard had done. He had hit eight sixes. He played 27 balls to score 66 not out of just 26 balls uh, with just two boundaries, but eight well struck sixes and and also powerful uh, sixes at that. And what a knock from Kiran Pollard. As I, as I said, Kiran Pollard has not done anything much of note in this IPL 2013, but today he really, really banged it. Uh, in front of all and showed what he is capable of and uh, well that's it he finished off the match and look at what damage he did to Tisra Pereira's figures Tisra Pereira's figures were damaged beyond recognition 3.3 overs no maiden 55 runs and no wicket Mishra bowled 3 overs which cost him 36 3 overs 22 runs and 2 wickets for Karan Sharma uh, 2 overs for 15 for Darren Sammy in my opinion I would have probably uh, thought that Darren Sammy uh, could have bowled the last over, especially considering that, uh, you know, it's just a chance you have to take because you know um, that uh, Matusa Perez has been hit for runs, so psychologically there will be a, a problem, but uh, probably I think Cameron White uh, uh, thought otherwise and entrusted the duty once again to Tusra Pereira and then it became an absolute uh, cakewalk there. Ishan Sharma bowled well, one for 32 and Dale Steen was the best bowler among the lot, just giving away 23 runs. Uh, in his quota of four overs. Well, uh, and what what this has done? This Pola, the the big hitting that Pollard did, and the way he actually took uh, the Mumbai Indians uh, to such a victory, uh, a victory by, um, by it was a victory by seven wickets in the end. And look at that, 62 runs of four overs, uh, and uh, see what Pollard could do. Pollard re literally murdered the bowling. And there was no answer as far as the Sunrisers Hyderabad were concerned. The Sunrisers Hyderabad was stunned. The Mumbai crowd was absolutely ecstatic and why not? It was some huge numbers who had turned up uh, at the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai. And as I said, they would have got value for all money. And what a match we had here. But what this has done is that Mumbai Indians have gone on to the top of the IPL rankings in 2013. Uh, they in fact, because of their better run rate, they are absolutely on the top. They have also displayed CSK, the Ch Chennai Super Kings, and Rajasthan Royals, and now they stay on the uh, they stay on the top of the heap there uh, as far as uh, Pepsi IPL 2013 rankings are concerned. So congratulations to the Mumbai Indians team and Kiran Pollard especially for that wonderful and the super lady innings that he played, which, uh, which gave him the Man of the Match award. Now, the tomorrow's match, there are two matches coming up tomorrow. One is going to be Royal Challengers Bangalore versus Kings Eleven Punjab, which is going to be played at Bangalore. And Super Kings, Ch Chennai Super Kings will take on the Delhi Daredevils at Chennai. So that are, those are the two matches coming up. So until then, uh, your host Ram uh, would like to say goodbye. Thank you.